What's going on everyone, this is Dom and this is Epic Tech of CES 2018. First off, we're talking about PC gaming and Nvidia's big format gaming display. This is a 65 inch display that's built for some epicness. It features Nvidia's G-Sync tech and is good for 4K resolution at 120 Hertz and HDR, all on an AU Optronics panel. Now Nvidia is working with HP, Asus and Acer on these displays and let's not forget that they also feature a built-in NVIDIA shield as well. It features a 1000 nit peak luminance, DCI-P3 color gamut, and damn does this thing look amazing. Now on a similar note, another awesome addition to gaming tech is Corsair's new K63 wireless gaming keyboard and the Dark Core RGB SE gaming mouse. And these things are pretty exciting. These are pretty epic wireless peripherals and the K63 features Cherry MX switches, either a one millisecond 2.4 wireless connection or a low latency Bluetooth connection. You also have a wired USB connection and this thing packs up to 75 hours of battery life. The Dark Core RGB SE is a great companion to the K63 as well. So this is a pretty slick wireless mouse with all the normal bells and whistles, but it features Qi wireless charging support. And of course, Corsair launched the new MM1000 mouse pad that actually sports a dedicated cheese spot where you can easily juice up the dark core on the fly and if you're looking to use all of these new beauties in a living room setup quite possibly even with the big format gaming display from nvidia corsair's new lap board easily combines the k63 into a very comfy setup for sitting back on the couch and gaming wirelessly with ease next up we're checking out some pretty awesome fingerprint tech from synaptics now this vivo phone isn't actually full-on ready for production but the tech inside definitely is. So Synaptic's new fingerprint sensor works pretty great and hides right beneath the display. And it's definitely a little bit slower than your traditional fingerprint sensor, but it's impressive nonetheless. I'd be willing to bet that this kind of tech is quote, the next big thing for 2018 smartphones. And to test it in person was a great experience. And really the sensor itself is, is super tiny. Now it's somewhat visible at certain angles behind the display, but this is a characteristic that I was told that they're working to improve on. Either way, it's nice to see that companies, even though they wanna make the phones thinner and more aesthetically appealing, may not mean that we need to sacrifice fingerprint sensors after all. Next up, we're talking about the wall. No, this is not a remastered Pink Floyd album. This is the new TV tech from Samsung. Now, this is a modular micro LED 146 inch TV. Yes, you heard that right. But this display can literally be resized to fit your room better by adding or removing chunks of it, hence the modular portion. Now, Samsung says this can be transformed to any size, and I'm pretty sure that it will be ridiculously expensive. Regardless of that, it looks awesome. And hey, Samsung, if you're watching, you can ship me a review unit. I won't mind. Now, finally, if you haven't caught my video on Sony's refreshed Ibo robot dog, this thing is definitely worth a look. This dog packs AI and it's kind of creepy, but super cool. So definitely be sure to hit the link in the description to check that out. But that about wraps it up for this episode. And be sure to let me know what tech I mentioned is your favorite in the comments section below. And leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next one.